In this video, we're going to talk about exporting time clock data into your payroll software. We offer import integration with many payroll companies, including our own ETC Payroll. We will go over where to set up your payroll company, where to enter custom pay codes, and how to move time clock data into your payroll each pay period. The page you will want to utilize to tell our system what payroll company you use is located under Setup and is called Export to Payroll. Choose your payroll company from the list and save changes. Usually, this is all you need to do on this page, as our system fills in the basic requirements for each payroll company. A few, though, may require you enter a custom column for a company code or different pay codes. Pay codes tell your payroll company how to pay your employee, whether the time is regular rate or overtime, a specific project or PTO time. Be aware that whether we are talking about pay codes, earning codes, or export codes, these are all ultimately the same thing. On the right-hand side of the page, there are helpful hints for integration with your specific payroll company. At the bottom are two options that are not commonly used on purpose, but are often checked without knowing their functionality. By checking these boxes, you are requiring the employee to have met the listed requirements in order for their time card data to show up on the export. So if any or all employees don't meet these criteria, the export will not include them at all, and no alert will tell you there is missing data. So please be very sure that you really want to use this setting before you check the boxes. The next step will be setting up other export codes. The features we offer customized export codes for are PTO, projects, and other compensations. Sometimes certain features are not compatible with specific exports, such as mileage and reimbursement, or designating overtime and double time codes for specific projects. You may want to test the functionality before sending off to payroll. Once you're set up and ready to run your first payroll, you'll first want to check over the report and make sure all of the punches and totals are accurate. The most popular report to review this information is the detailed report. When you've determined everything is correct, go to the summary report. Make sure you're in the correct pay period then locate the link that exports to your payroll. When you click the link, it will download a file onto your computer. This will usually be saved in your Downloads folder. You can open the file to view the data if desired, but many exports just look like gibberish. Each export is written specifically for a payroll software to decode, so there is no need for you to understand the data you see. The next step is to access your payroll software and upload the file you retrieved from the summary report. 